Okay, hello, hi there guys. So, today I thought I should just uh, not only make videos about uh, uh, how to, you know, go for UWorld and NBMEs and all that stuff. I thought I should make some videos on topics that are usually tested on the USMLE also. So, I'll make small videos on topics also. So, today I thought I'll make a video on a small one, a small topic that is uh, the innervation of the tongue and uh, as you can see uh, on your screen I have uh, kind of tried to make a tongue in the shape of the number 12 uh, as you can see it is making number 12 so this number 12 represents uh, mainly two things but it represents that uh, whole of the motor innervation of the tongue is through the cranial nerve 12 hypoglossal nerve so all the muscles of the tongue be it the anterior portion, posterior portion, anywhere, the whole tongue, the muscular innervation, the motor innervation is uh, through cranial nerve 12. So you can remember that, making tongue in the shape of a 12. Uh, uh, and then comes the sensory innervation. Now, in case of sensory innervation, the tongue is divided into anterior two third and posterior one third. So anterior two third, uh, first of all, I would also like to tell that sensory innervation will have two parts. One is the somatic sensory innovation, that means uh, senses like pain, temperature, pressure, all these, you know, uh, when you take something very hot and you feel uh, the pain or that kind of sensory innovation, that is somatic sensory in, uh, in innovation. And the other one is the taste innovation, as you know, taste, we feel tastes, you know. So, that is that are those are the two parts of sensory innovation. So, uh, as I have already told, the motor innervation, nerve 12. Don't worry about anything else. And uh, sensory innervation, the tongue is divided into anterior two third and posterior one third part. Okay, so in the anterior two third part, as you can see on the on your screen, in the anterior two third part, uh, the somatic innervation is from the lingual nerve, which is ultimately a branch of uh, the trigeminal nerve, the fifth nerve, mandibular branch of the fifth nerve. So, uh, somatic sensory innervation is from the trigeminal nerve and the taste sensation is from the facial nerve. Uh, it's actually from the cauda tympani branch of the facial nerve, but uh, broadly you will be just tested on uh, uh, nerve 5 and nerve 7. Somatic innervation in the anterior two-third of the tongue, nerve 5. Uh, taste sensation in the anterior two-third of the tongue, nerve 7. So that was the anterior two-third of the tongue uh, for sensory innervation. Now in the posterior one-third of the tongue, uh, that's very easy. Both somatic sensory and taste sensations are from cranial nerve 11, I mean 9, from cranial nerve 9. So that is the glossopharyngeal nerve. So that is very easy. So that finishes the sensory innervation of the tongue. Uh, and the motor innervation of the tongue. Uh, sensory, uh, posterior one third, all the senses are from the cranial nerve 9, that is grossopharyngeal, in the posterior part, and in the anterior two third, all the sensations, uh, sensory are from 5 and 7. 5 is for uh, pain, temperature, and pressure, and 7 is for taste. While in the posterior part, both taste and pressure sensations are from ninth nerve only. and uh, there was sensory and motor is as I told you you can see shape of the tongue here is in number of in the shape of number 12 so motor is from number 12 uh, now uh, I hope you know the sensory and motor innovation but there are two things I would like to add first there is one motor uh, there is one muscle in the tongue which is not controlled by nerve 12 and that muscle is uh, the palatoglossus muscle. It is the only muscle that is not innervated by uh, cranial nerve 12. Instead, it is innervated by the vagus nerve 10. One exception, okay? Otherwise, motor innervation number 12. That's it. And sensory 579. Anterior 57, posterior 9. Anyway, also number 12. One more link I would give you. Uh, 
the anterior two third of the tongue is uh, derived from the pharyngeal arch one and two uh, as you can see in the upper right corner of the video uh, that also is number 12 so shape of the, shape of the tongue 12 motor innervation 12 pharyngeal arch anterior two third one and two makes 12 and the posterior one third is from the pharyngeal arch three so one third three that is easy i guess so uh, that is it about the innervation of the tongue it uh, is a very frequent question i'll make videos on many many small small topics and try to present them in a way that makes it easy to learn so i hope you know the innervation of the tongue motor sensory and motor is the same all over sensory is different in anterior two third and posterior one third and uh, that's just it uh, moreover uh, if you want to stay connected with my videos uh, don't forget to subs uh, subscribe and don't forget to rate comment and like my videos okay see you next time goodbye